back guys as promised um here is a tour of June our camper that's what we've named her so anyway <clears throat> when you come in through the door here we've got a love seat that folds out into a bed and it's actually very comfortable um, some storage up above and then a dinette that also folds um, into a bed and it again is surprisingly comfortable and this whole section here is a slide out so okay and then if I walk on in and I'm decorating for Christmas and everything so you know <clears throat> it doesn't look the best right now but it, it will I'll do another video on that anyway here's the kitchen area and right down at the bottom there um, is a central vac I keep um, I keep all my cleaning supplies down here and there's my sink a little coffee area my diffuser my oven <clears throat> my range and I yes I do use the oven microwave that little up there I use for toilet paper and paper towels and then here's where all of their dishes and that sort of thing go so if you turn on around there's the door the main door and then the master bedroom door and then this is the entertainment center area the long section to the left that's a coat closet up above I usually use that to store snacks and whatnot and then our TV here and the DVD player and CD player and then DVDs and um, the bottom storage I use like for office supplies different little things like that you know and um, because I do work on the road sometimes and um, I know this looks a little crazy but that buckle right there I just took a, a dishcloth for when we move <clears throat> Here is the control panel for everything. And one reason it is kind of in the shape that it's in, like, you'll notice I have, like, no food. Um, we had to take June in for a few little repairs. It was nothing big, but um, I decided it'd be good to clean as much out as I could. Okay, this is a pantry. And then you've got one little drawer here. And I use the drawer for like pot holders and whatnot. <clears throat> in the pantry, of course, you know, food. This little place right here is perfect for a trash can. It fits it absolutely perfectly. Okay, if you go on through here, this is our son's room. And, oh, it's driving me crazy. Sorry, I'm a little OCD. Um, he has this bunk here right now. It has like his Paw Patrol tent and a body pillow and a Hot Wheel storage thing on it. We don't really use it for a whole lot right now. I mean, I'm sure as we travel with his little friends and, and stuff, you know, it'll come in handy. <clears throat> so here is the ladder area. And that just pulls out, you know, like that. And it, I found this a perfect little space for his hamper. So... Then he's got a TV, a little coin bank, some bins for clothes. These are full of toys. I don't even try to do clothes in those. So we stick to this bin and this foldable storage box thing that we've got. And here's his bed. Well, I've just done kind of a mishmash of like homemade quilts and then store-bought quilts and things. <clears throat> These actually, I don't know if you can see, see this right here, that is a cup holder. This bottom bunk, you know, he wants to sleep on it right now. He doesn't really like to be up in the top bunks um, to sleep. But these, one each goes on either side and it makes a couch. <clears throat> and it's really, really cute. It'd be perfect for, you know, as he gets older and stuff. But this bunk we just use for storage as well. He's got some pillows and one of these little mats that has a road and um, it, like, I forget what that's called. A lap desk. There we go. Books and another homemade quilt. So, and then let's see about the bathroom. 
Okay, this is the bigger of the two bathrooms. This um, particular model has two bathrooms. You have a sink and um, underneath storage. And then a bathtub. And, you know, it has a shower and, of course, a skylight. And your regular light. And then a skylight and a fan. And it has outside access. Um, and that is so handy when you are camping and especially if you have kids or pets, you know, and anybody needs to use a bathroom or you need to bring somebody in, they, you know, they don't have to track all the way in through here and track up your floor and then go. You know, they just step right in from the outside. It's no big deal. So, there's that. Okay, let's go on up here to the master bedroom. <clears throat> I have some stuff here at the door that needs to go back um, over to my house. Here's the step up. It's kind of steep, but that's normal for a fifth wheel. Here is a wardrobe. Um, it has three different levels. It's fairly deep. Um, see? And we use that, you know, just for our clothes and whatnot. Here's our bed. I don't have... I cannot find the bedding that I want, so I just threw on some blankets that look okay this obviously does not match but I swear it is the softest oh my goodness I just love it bought that at Hobby Lobby the other day <clears throat> and I don't really know where to put it I don't know if I'm gonna put it here or at the house but either way okay so here you have a little bit of a step ledge and then this little area here and you have um I think it's two yeah two places to charge your phones if you'd like and then you've got or you know plug in whatever then you've got this overhead storage <clears throat> that light this one and then one behind me this is a wardrobe where you can actually hang things which is really nice and this whole bed will fold up and you can put things underneath and <clears throat> I am going to do an organizational video um i'm not sure i guess it'll probably be before we go on our next big trip which will be late december um but anyway we're going to be going out west so anyway but i'll probably do it then but we have an extra air conditioner in here which is wonderful during the summertime that's where our tv goes we just hang it on the wall now here is our second bathroom and it's just a half bath um, you know medicine cabinet stink storage underneath and of course a light and a skylight <clears throat> like I said we're going to be going on a trip here um, it's going to be cross country and I think we leave on the 21st of December and we won't be back until the 4th or 5th of January. We are going to spend Christmas in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And then we're going to go on out to Joshua Tree and stay in Palm Springs. And I don't really know. We're going to stop several places along the way. But I will vlog all of that. And I plan on doing an organizational and like packing video for the RV before we head out. Um, and kind of let you see how I do things and I mean it may not help you at all maybe you can give me some tips I mean I'm always open for that because <clears throat> you know the more organized I can be um, really the better I, I, I love that so <laughs> but um, if you have any questions or comments or anything please feel free um, to comment in the comment section and please subscribe like um, the bell for notifications, all that kind of stuff, you know, so. But thank you so much for watching. Bye.